Welcome to Mind Stretch. Today, we're exploring one of the most iconic and mind boggling experiments in physics the double slit experiment. This simple setup revealed something astonishing about our universe that particles like electrons can behave like waves. Get ready for a journey into the bizarre realm of quantum mechanics, where intuition goes out the window. The story begins in the early 19th century with Thomas Young, who used light and two narrow slits to demonstrate that light creates an interference pattern, proof that light behaves like a wave. Fast forward to the early 20th century, and scientists were wrestling with the idea that electrons, which were thought to be just tiny particles of matter, could also exhibit wave-like properties. This was a revolutionary notion that challenged the boundary between what we considered to be particles and waves. The double slit experiment quickly became a cornerstone of quantum theory, paving the way for our current understanding of the subatomic world. Picture a simple experiment. We have a barrier with two narrow slits cut into it and a screen behind to capture whatever comes through. First, Imagine firing a beam of light at the slits. Instead of creating just two bright bands on the screen, the light spreads out and forms multiple bright and dark bands, an interference pattern, indicating wave-like behavior. Now, replace the light beam with electrons, tiny chunks of matter. You might expect them to act like little bullets and form two distinct bands on the screen, but that's not what happens. Instead, the electrons also create an interference pattern, suggesting they behave like waves interfering with themselves. Here's where it gets really weird. When scientists place a detector to observe which slit each electron goes through, the interference pattern disappears. In other words, when we measure the electron's path, it behaves like a particle. When we don't measure, it behaves like a wave, this phenomenon underscores the observer effect in quantum mechanics. It isn't that the electron consciously decides how to behave. It's that our act of measuring changes the conditions of the experiment. In the quantum world, particles exist in a sort of cloud of possibilities until they're measured. The double slit experiment has fueled multiple interpretations of what's really happening. The Copenhagen interpretation suggests that quantum objects exist in a superposition of states until observed. The many worlds interpretation posits that every possible outcome actually happens, but in different branching realities. What we do know is that this experiment exposes the wave particle duality inherent in quantum mechanics. Electrons, and indeed all matter, aren't strictly particles or waves in the classical sense. Instead, they possess properties of both, and how they appear depends on how we interact with them. Beyond its historical and philosophical intrigue, the double-slit experiment has practical implications for quantum computing, quantum cryptography, and the emerging field of quantum technology. Understanding quantum behavior is crucial to harnessing these effects for real-world applications, from ultra-secure communication to massively parallel computing. This famous experiment continues to inspire new research. Modern versions use ever more sophisticated setups, firing single photons or even larger molecules through slits to probe the very limits of quantum behavior. The deeper we dive, the more we realize how much remains a mystery. Thank you for tuning in to this fascinating journey through the double slit experiment and the strange world of quantum mechanics. If this exploration made you question reality, you're in good company. Physicists have been doing the same for over a century. If you found this episode intriguing, give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to Mind Stretch for more mind bending insights into our universe. Until next time, keep questioning the nature of reality 